But are y'all praying for me? Praying that this rest area has a decent bathroom. I pray that it's clean. Woo. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this bathroom be clean. Let the toilet seat be clean. Because your servant, your son, woo, he got to use it. So, yeah. Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. It is 3 a.m. in the morning and I am coming off of home time. I am headed back to the terminal to get in my truck. Jax is in the back. Our junk is in here. Our food is in here. So we are going to get set up and get ready. Hey y'all. Y'all, I want to show y'all this weather. Do y'all see that? See that? That's what I had to drive in this morning. It was, it's cool. Um, it's different because I haven't had a lot of experience of driving this in the snow. And we are 90 miles away from Gary. We're still in Indiana. We actually did a time change too. The time changed. The time went up. So I'm on Eastern Standard Time. But we have to come back. I still have to go back past Gary to get to Minnesota because we're we're going through Minnesota. And my fuel stop is on the border of Illinois and Wisconsin. So that's what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be interesting. This load does not deliver until um, tomorrow at 1300. So I got time to get there. What I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about getting to my fuel stop. When I get to my fuel stop, I'll have 300 miles to go, which is not like I can crank that out. But what I plan to do, if I shut down at my fuel stop, do my 10 hour, I can pop back out. It will be dark, but I'm on the interstate. So it's different. I'm not doing county roads and stuff. And I like getting up in the morning to do my driving. I want to be consistent with that so I'm able to get up like at four and that's what time I started my clock today at four. So because what I don't want to do is be in a lot of traffic in this mess. So I'm going to see, I'm going to look at the weather and we're going to see what plan we come up with. Like I had a plan, but now that this is happening, I'm just right. I'm just ready to go chill because... I don't I don't have a problem driving in it, but it's driving this and driving with other people. And like I said, it's seven o'clock now, six o'clock back at home. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see what happened, y'all. It is the next day. Just got done taking a shower, getting ready for the day. I'm gonna pull off, head to Minnesota. Got about a five hour drive, four and a half hours. And it is, I don't have my watch on, but it's five o'clock. Appointment time is at one. We'll have plenty of time to get there. Should be a piece of cake. Hey, Mr. Jacks. good morning. I get that pre-trip done and then I'll get back with you. All right, y'all, pre-trip is done. So the way I do my pre-trip, I was taught by my trainer, which is, he was an amazing trainer. I do my pre-trip before I actually push the pre-trip button on the computer because if I find a problem or issue that's severe and can't get fixed, what's the point of having your clock started and you losing time? Because once you start that clock, you can't stop it. So if I'm able to find something, I can find it, try to fix it, do whatever I need to do before I actually start my clock and get on the road. That's just a tip for you. Now I'm going to let Jax outside, feed him, 
get my coffee ready and get on the road all right y'all so we are in minnesota got here at like 10 50 checked in and i'm supposed to be here at one the guy was like well your appointment is at one i was like i'm already here can y'all let me in and he was like you know what pull in dock at 14 and he's like give me like 20 minutes and i get you out of here your boy got favor on these streets so i'm making me some sausage and french toast because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I only had a little bar, had some coffee. And let me show y'all this little interesting backing that I had to do. Y'all see this? We are literally inside a, looks like a warehouse, but we're inside of a building. There's a ceiling and yeah. So your boy had to do some good backing and we got it in, we got it in. We got it in, we got it in, we got it in, we got it in. One day I am going to get y'all some footage of the backings and all. I just had to get comfortable. I'm more comfortable now than I've ever been. But I just had to get myself together. Now I'm about to eat. And y'all surely are not about to watch me eat because I'm hungry. Y'all not about to watch me, no. It is that cold. Mr. Jax, she's in the restroom. We are at a rest area. We are still in Minnesota. So I had my load earlier that I told you guys, you've seen where I was like in a building delivering to. That was early. I was supposed to, my appointment was set for one, but they worked me in and I was headed to pick up my next load at one. Like I had the relay on my truck. So your boy is, was moving, but so I tried to deliver this early. Mind you, it was three, it was like 3.30. And I, my appointment time is at 7.30. And the guy was like, you can come back at 5.30 because we don't have anybody here to receive me. So I was just like, bomber. And he was like, you can't stay here. So I remember passing this rest area. It's like one exit before you get to that exit. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split my clock for two hours and then go deliver that load. Then my next load is 87 miles away. I'm going to try to hit that. I have like three hours left on my clock. It ain't going to take three hours to get to where I'm going. Three hours and 15 minutes. No, three, min three hours and 10 minutes. I'm like 10 minutes away from dropping this load off. So hopefully I can make this happen and can get to that load tonight and then shut down because they do have overnight parking. Come on, Jax. He just wants to sniff and smell everything. So that's what we're planning to do. I'm trying to get as much, as many loads I can in before the end of the week, before I go home. That's the goal. He just won't let me be great. He be looking so cute. <laughs> so let's talk. How am I feeling today? Today is a good day. Every day is a good day. You just have to keep moving, keep pushing, keep pressing. Trucking life is, it is, it's a lifestyle. You gotta be built for it. It's so easy for you to get upset and not upset, but to let something kind of take your energy. It's so easy. And that can be traffic. That can be trying to uh, be in, having a plan and your plan not going well because you get held up at a shipper, held up at a cons. Like, it's a lot of stuff. But you just got to keep your head up. And you got to take every day for what it is and know that every day is not going to be like that. So that's how I'm feeling. That's what keeps keeping me motivated and pushing while I'm on the road. I will say 
the weather is something different because I started trucking in June and I'm not used to being outside like this. Like having to get outside, having to couple to a trailer, get out, get in. And then I think what makes matters worse, it's not bad, but I just gotta get used to it. I have to get used to having jacks with me. Him tracking up my floor, him stepping in mud and the snow. You already got me doing that, but then you have him doing that, it's a lot. That's a lot. So I struggle with keeping the floor of the truck clean. But what I do is just use one door for me and him. I use the driver's door. The other side, Ain't nobody ever stepped over there. And ain't nobody ever gonna step over there because I need that floor to be clean. That's where his food is. So, uh, yeah, we just been trying to make this happen. It's like we're roommates. Yeah, we're roommates. And we're trying to stay from killing each other and we're trying to get along. <laughs> there are some days, if you know anything about the breed of Elasa, Lots of opsos, they have their moments where they want to be stubborn and they have attitudes. I don't know if y'all know, I'm a Virgo. We have our moments. We know how to be stubborn. So me and Jax is a match. I can match his energy and I don't play that. But yeah, I'm gonna put him up so I can finally use the bathroom. One thing for sure, I gotta get back used to this. Like I was off it for like a week and I gotta get back used to hearing that. Especially when it's time to go to sleep. I heard that my preloaded trailer, the next one I'm supposed to get, is gonna be continuous, 33. But it's about, I think I have to, I have 345 miles. Ooh, it's shining, look at, I have not named my truck yet. Can y'all help me with a name? I think this is gonna be a female. She's a female. Help me name her. I was thinking, uh, I was going old school. I was thinking Betsy. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Come up with a good truck name. Oh, Faithful Sheila. I don't know. But I gotta get used to hearing that. I heard it today and I was just like, ugh. That's what that sound like. But like I was saying, my next load, I think it's like 350 miles. And I probably will knock that out all tomorrow. It doesn't deliver until Friday, but I'm gonna try to run it tomorrow and get it done tomorrow so we can do something else. But are y'all praying for me? I'm praying that this rest area has a decent bathroom. I'm praying that it's clean. Woo. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this bathroom be clean. Let the toilet seat be clean. Because your servant, your son, woo, he got to use it. So, yeah. And you just never could be too sure. Like yesterday, I stayed at a Love's. And... I didn't take a shower. I took my shower this morning. Got in there. They had no towels. So I told the guy, and he looked at me in a strange way as if like I took the towels. I'm like, no, well, I don't want y'all towels. So I even opened the door to show him, like, there's no towels in here. So he gave me some towels. And then I went in. Now, that bathroom was not clean. It looked like somebody did a half job but not only that it was old i thank god i'm not having to really pay for those showers i just have a bunch of shower credits but uh yeah it is what it is mm -hmm.